Hey guys, I'm Brian and today I'm taking off and I'm gonna go get my aircraft compliant with the ADSB mandate. So what is ADSB? ADSB is the Alerting, Detecting, Spying, and Broadcasting System. What ADSB or ADSB does is it allows you to see other aircraft. It also allows other aircraft to see you. It also allows you to be seen by the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, the NTSB, the FAA, your employers, future and past, your wife, your friends, your family. Pretty much everybody you know will know when and where you're flying. Think of it like when you get a pet microchipped so you can find your dog when he gets lost, only in this scenario it's you getting microchipped and it's the whole world that knows when you're lost. It's definitely a system to ensure that we're safe and that we're not having mid-air collisions and incursions in the sky. It's to protect us. It's definitely not a government conspiracy so that they can watch us and know exactly when and where we're flying. When it comes to ads B, you have a lot of options for compliance. Garmin makes some great options like the GDL82, the GTX345, the GLG20s. My own company, Five Flight, makes one. The GD thing doesn't work for crap. So the point is, when it comes to the ADSB and what you want to use to get the in and out signal, you have a ton of options. And so what I did was I took every option available and I put it in a spreadsheet capturing information about durability, reliability, customer support, reviews online. I took this giant spreadsheet with everything and all this amazing information. Then I sorted it by price and I picked the lowest one. So based on that research, today I'm going to be getting an ADSB out unit that's called the Tail Bacon from a company called Uh Avionics. Actually, I think I'm mispronouncing that. I think it's the Tail Beacon by Uh Avionics. Uh Avionics is a good company. They make a, a lot of experimental uh, avionics and they do make one, uh, it's called the Sky Bacon, Sky Beacon, that goes on the wingtip. But that is a no-go on the Grumman because we have enclosed wingtip housing and it's got a fin that comes out down here. So. I also understand they're working on a unit called the nose beacon, um, but a lot of pilots complain about that because as soon as you fire the engine up, all the wires just rip to shreds. So anyway, let's hop in the plane, let's fly to Cleburne, and let's get our bacon on. Sorry about that. Lots of people don't like music in their aviation videos. That was for them. All right, so I took off a of Northwest Regional and I headed to the west uh, just to skirt some of the Class D airspace to the south, and then I flew down to Cleburne, Texas. I landed and taxied over to DJS Aviation where these guys had a tail beacon ready to go. All right, you can see here I've got the complete unit, and the top piece is what's called a continuum transfunctioner, which is a mysterious and powerful device, actually. It's a uh, mystery is only exceeded by its power. Dude, where's my plane? Oh, there it is. The mechanic's just finished installing, and you can see here he's, uh, he's winding it up. Uh, this is something that you have to do before every flight, otherwise it's not going to work. So what you're going to want to do now that the install is complete is go fly the plane and make sure it's working. You need to fly in some controlled airspace for about 30 or 40 minutes. I chose to fly under the Bravo shelf in DFW and checked in with a couple of towers to make sure that they were able to pick up the signal. Hey, now it's 7 the Bravo then. And uh, 7 the Bravo ID for me. And then when you land, you're going to get home and you're going to get on this website here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through these steps one by one by one by one. And once you filled out all these steps saying, I've got this thing installed, I've uploaded the documentation showing that it was a legit person who did the install, all the information about it, believe it or not, after that, the FAA is going to give you one of these. That's right, it's a $500 rebate check for being compliant with the ADSB mandate. Well, you know what, FAA? I know what this is. It's a trap. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fall for your little trap. 
I know you know I'm not commercial rated. I can't take your $500 for flying my airplane. Guys, don't cash those checks. It's a scam. The FAA is trying to catch you, and you're going to end up in the FISDO explaining why you took money for flying again and again. Don't do it. All right, thanks, everybody. Uh, fly safe, and if you're not ads, be compliant. You should probably do that. It's uh, running out of time. Well, I'm on my quick way. So what is ADSB? ADSB is the alerting, <laughs> alerting, detecting, spying, and broadcasting system. So what is ADSB? There's so many different options available to you when it comes to picking the right avionics for your ads be out. Seriously, can you turn your engines off? Do you have to fly with those on? Ah, it's like I'm at an airport. <clears throat> so the point is when it comes and there's the fin at the bottom that adds stability to the plane and gives you a little bit more rudder authority. Smells like bacon. So there's the sky beacon right there on the Grumman. And uh, I think it looks pretty good actually. Kind of sporty looking. <laughs>